Uh, Nate here from fitnesswomencafe.com and I'm here with Nick Aspinall from iFitness and we're just going through the fit metrics. So a couple of months ago Nick uh, sent us some information about it. I was really keen to find out more. I'm pretty excited to be actually standing in front of the screen right now and learning more about it. So Nick, can you, you talk us through it? Absolutely, Nate. So what we have in front of us is a is a heart rate tracking platform. Obviously, buzz at the moment in the industry is around group training and the ability to uh, track your results. And this is where a heart rate tracking platform such as Fitmetrics really comes into its own. The key points I'll just go into around Fitmetrics and how it probably differs to other products in the market is around the fact that it's software driven as opposed to hardware driven. And what that means is that this product will actually pair with any heart rate wearable on the market. Right. As long as it's Ant Plus or Bluetooth enabled. So from a member perspective um, or from a client perspective, that means that you're not having to purchase additional heart rate wearables. You just use your current heart, heart rate wearable, which is a really key point. The next point, as you can see here, is we'll see in the top left hand corner, it says Fit Metrics. This is very much a white label product. So that would then be obviously the personal trainer's name, the uh, fitness facilities brand. So this is all very much about promoting your brand. Right. And, and it's white, it's white, um, uh, what white, label. It? white label, but it's not vanilla. Correct, okay. absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. A very important point to make. Yes. Um, the next key point around this product is that it simply can be integrated into your website and then that enables um, functionality around a, a member's own dashboard so they can go in, view their results, see their total results and just again all through your website. So again it's driving extra traffic to your website, not taking you off to other portals. And the final point to make on this is around the fact that it also integrates with booking and scheduling systems. So in the US it's partnered with MindBody and we're having conversations with other scheduling and booking system companies at the moment because then once you have the booking and scheduling integration, this enables me at home to book into my class through, through the Fitmetrics um, system in your website. Very smooth, very clean. So that probably gives a, lot, gives a lot of control to the actual um, individual gyms, right? Absolutely. As opposed to giving that control to an app uh, next to a third-party thing. So. Absolutely. This is all about driving traffic through your website, not taking it off, off into another uh, domain. Right. As we can see here, just to walk through very simply, you'll see you've got the, the classic tiles here. You can see there's an awards point. If we look at Angela here, you've got 73 points. That's just, again, a, an awards point based on time spent in, in particular zones, which can be controlled by you as the gym or, or the personal trainer. You then have a heart rate and then a calorie burn. So it's nice and easily recognizable. Then ultimately, if I jump into the, my own dashboard, I will see a total figure of my performance, both in this class and at the end of the class, and my total performance to date. So again, a nice, clean, simple product. Very, very cool. It's um, yeah, I'm just uh, kind of mind's racing at the moment. The kind of applications you can really uh, apply it. I mean, it's group fitness, it's individual. Um, yeah, uh, really, really love it. It's and the, the other key point here is is around the fact that it has the option to actually be taken outdoors. So there is actually a mobile wasp, which is a very small uh, individual unit, which I'll just quickly yeah, yeah, I can bring into the camera. Nice. Yep. So if we just put that there, you'll see. Not much bigger than a um, than a, a, a fob wasp. for a uh, a wasp. That's right. <laughs> fob for I was going to say for a for a for an electronic um, yeah, right. car park door, garage door, right. um, and then that would simply pop in my pocket. I could have this obviously on a tablet. Yep. I'm out in the field, out in out in the local park with my wow. group, and I'm able to monitor them and track them. That's heart rate tracking. There's a, obviously a fixed um, receiver that can work in a in a fitness facility in a right. group X or small group training training area but I think that mobile is, is a really key point absolutely and again, nice and easy and simple from a personal personal training small group trainers perspective yeah. and, and I guess that's a, I mean that's a really smart um, inclusion obviously because you know uh, the system kind of uh, in a way could fall down um, once you leave the club right so they've actually addressed that issue for, for outdoor training yeah right and, and the other key point
point to make here is that it is a, a classic open platform and what that means is that it will actually um, integrate with other applications in the market so they're currently looking and working with apps like Strava like Runkeeper right map my fitness and that what that enables is then the actual um, platform to be totally open so I can see all of my experience not just within a gym and I think that's important very important very important fantastic Nick that's okay. So that's uh, Fitmetrics. Um, you can uh, grab that and uh, check out more details through ifitness.com.au in Australia. And um, Nick, you, you've been a pleasure and thanks very much for your time. Now, I have run uh, through a number of videos uh, with Nick. So we've uh, done the, the throwdown rig system, uh, personal fitness center. center. Uh, we've good. done the uh, Surge uh, 360. We've done Stages Bike and the, uh, the Pulse uh, Cardio con uh, Smart Console. So check that those videos out and uh, let me know what you think.